Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. We're continuing our reading of Sunan Abu Dawood, Volume 1. We're in the Book of Purification. Let's begin. MashaAllah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Chapter 108. Those who narrated that she should not leave the prayer after Menzi's finish. Aisha narrated, Fatima bint Abi Hubaish came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and said, I am a woman who suffers from istihada and do not become pure. Should I leave the prayer? He, peace be upon him, said, That is from a vein and not considered a menstruation. So, when the menstruation starts, leave the prayer, and when it finishes, wash the traces of blood and pray. Sahih. In another version of number 282, he, peace be upon him, said, So when the menstruation starts, leave the prayer, and when its quantity leaves, wash the blood and pray. Sahih. Chapter 109. When the menstruation starts, she should leave the prayer. It was reported from Buhaya who said, I heard a woman asking Aisha, about a woman whose menstruation had become disturbed and continuously bled. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, told me to command her to wait the number of days that she used to menstruate and every month while her menstruation had been regular. She would take into account those number of days and leave the prayer during them or during a similar number of them then she should perform ghusl, tie a garment around her private area, and pray. Daif. The hadith has a weak chain of narration, but the ruling is correct. There you go. It was reported from Ibn Shihab Ahzuri, from Urwa bin Azubair, and Amra from Aisha, who said that Um Habiba bin Jahash, the sister-in-law of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and wife of Abdul Rahman bin Auf, suffered from istihada for seven years. Wow, seven years. So she asked the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, about it. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, replied, This blood is not menstruation, but rather comes from a vein. So perform ghusl and pray. Sahih. Abu Dawood said, al awazay added in his report of the hadith of Azuri from Urwa and Amra from Aisha that she said, Um Habiba bin Jahash suffered from istihala and she was the wife of Abdul Rahman bin Auf for seven years. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, commanded her, When the menstruation comes, leave the prayer and when it leaves, perform ghusl and pray. Abu Dawood said, None of the companions of Ahzuri mentioned this statement except al Awazi. While it has been reported from Ahzuri by Amr bin al-Harith, al-Layth, Yunus, Ibn Abi Dhib, Mamar, Ibrahim bin Sa'ad, Sulaiman bin Kathir, Ibn Ishaq, and Sufyan bin Uyayna, and they did not mention this statement. Abu Dawood said, This wording is only in reality found in the narration of Hisham bin Urwa from his father, from Aisha. Abu Dawood said, Ibn Uyayna also added in it, he ordered her to leave the prayer for the days of her normal period, but it is a mistake from Ibn Uyayna, in the narration of Muhammad bin Amr from Ahzuri, the following narration, number 286. There is something in it of mistake as well, and it is close to what al Awazay added in his narration. Hmm. It was reported from Muhammad, meaning Ibn Amr, who said, Ibn Shihab narrated to me from Urwa bin Azubair, from Fatima bin Abi Hubayish, he said that she used to have istihada. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, told her 
If it is menstrual blood, then it is blood that is black in color and well known. So if that is the case, then stop the prayer. And if it is other than that, then perform the wudu and pray. For that is only from a vein. Daif. Abu Dawood said, Ibn al-Muttana said, Ibn Adi narrated it to us from his book like this. Then he narrated to us after memorizing it. He said, Muhammad bin Amr narrated to us from Ahsuri, from Urwa, from Aisha, who said, Fatima suffered from istihada, so he mentioned the narration and its meaning. Abu Dawood said, Anas bin Sirin reported from Ibn Abbas concerning the woman who suffers from istihada. If she sees dark colored blood that is pouring out of her, then she should not pray. And if she becomes pure, even if only for an hour, then let her perform ghusl and pray. And Mukhul said, women know the menstruation. Its blood is black and thick, so when these characteristics are gone, and it becomes pale and light, then she is suffering from istihada. So let her perform ghusl and pray. Abu Dawood said, Hamar bin Zaid reported from Yahya bin Sa'id, from al Qaqaq bin Hakim, from Sa'id bin al Musayyab, concerning the woman who suffers from istihada. When she averts her menses, she should leave the prayer, and when it finishes, she should perform ghusl and pray. Sumayi and others reported from Sa'id bin al Musayyab. She should sit without prayer the days of her period. Abu Dawood said, and that is how it was reported by Hamad bin Salama from Yahya bin Sayyid, from Sayyid bin al Musayyab. Abu Dawood said, Yunus reported from al Hassan if a menstruating woman continues to bleed after her menses for a day or two. Then she is suffering from istihada. And at Taimi said that Katada said, if she bleeds for five days, we have five days, then her regular mensi she should pray. At Taimi said, so I began to decrease the number of days until I reached two days, upon which he said, if it is only two days extra, then this is considered part of her menses. So the two days extra, consider part of the menses. And Ibn Sirin was asked about this, and he said, women are more knowledgeable concerning it. <laughs> That's interesting, right? <laughs> to know which is menses. Very good point. Like, it's regular blood. It's kind of lighter in color. They have a good point about that. Because it doesn't have the cervical tissue, which is more clotted. Very interesting. Imran bin Talha narrated from his mother, Hamna bint Jahash, that she said, I used to suffer from severe and acute istihada. So I came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, seeking his verdict and informing him about my situation. I found him in the house of my sister Zainab bint Jahash. I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I am a woman who suffers from severe and acute istihada. So what do you advise me concerning it? For it has prevented me from fasting and praying. He said, I will describe to you the cloth to wear, for it will stop the blood. I said, it is more than that. He said, then wear a garment around your private area. I said, it is even more than that. It flows out with force. So the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I will command you with two things. Whichever of the two you do, it will be sufficient for you. From the other one, and if you can do both then, then you know best if you are capable of that. He told her, this is a stroke from the strokes of shaitan. So your menstruation is six or seven days according to the knowledge of Allah. Exalted is his remembrance. Then after it finishes, perform ghusl until you think that you have become pure and clean. 
and pray twenty-three nights, or twenty-four nights along with their days, and fast as well, for that will be sufficient for you, and do the same every month, like other women menstruate and become pure, according to their times. Now, if you are capable of delaying the Hur and advancing Asr, then perform Ghusl and combine between the two prayers, the Hur and Asr, likewise delay Maghrib and advance Isha, then perform Ghusl and combine between the two prayers if you can, and perform Ghusl at Fajr if you can, and fast if you are able to. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, This is the more pleasing of the two matter to me, Daif. Abu Dawood said, Amr bin Thabit narrated from Ibn Aqil, so he said, Hamna, Hamna said, This is the more pleasing of the two matter to me, not attributing it to a saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, but as a saying of Hamna. Abu Dawood said, Amr bin Thabit was a Rafidi, as was mentioned from Yahya bin Main, but he was truthful. In narrations, Abu Dawood said, I heard Ahmad bin Hanbal say, I feel uncomfortable about the hadith of Ibn Akil. Hmm. Interesting. So, you're getting in a lot of examples of what do you do when you have that istihada bleeding. Very interesting, right? Chapter 110. The narrations that the state of women with istihada should perform also for every prayer. Amr bin al-Harith reported from Ibn Shihab, from Urwa bin Azubair, and Amra bint Abdul Rahman, from Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, who said, Um Habiba, the sister-in-law of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and wife of Abdul Rahman bin Auf, suffered from istihada for seven years. She asked the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, about that. So he replied, This is not menstruation, rather it is from a vein. So perform ghusl and pray. Aisha said, So she would perform ghusl in a tub, in the room of her sister Zainab bin Jahash, until the redness of the blood would discolor the water. Sahih. Okay, so I think you get at that one. It's like how you can do Rousseau for how long because you don't want it to fill up the tub and then you get dirty again and you're not pure. Because then the water would not be as pure. Very interesting. It was reported from Yunus from Ibn Shihab who said, Amra bint Abdul Rahman informed me from Um Habiba, a narration similar to number 288 with this hadith. Aisha said, so she would perform ghusl for every prayer, sahih. So we have ghusl for every prayer. So, um, back then, you know, they didn't have this, the same showers, I don't think. Today, you could probably just do shower. It was reported from al bin Saad, from Ibn Shihab, from Urwa. From Aisha with this hadith, he said in it, So she would perform ghusl for every prayer. A hadith similar to number 288, Sahih. Abu Dawood said, Al Qasim bin Mabrur said, From Yunus, from Ibn Shihab, from Amra, from Aisha, from Um Habiba bin Jahash. And this is how it was reported from Mamar from Asuri, from Amra, from Aisha, and from sometimes Mamar said, from Amra, from Um Habiba, reporting its meaning, and it was reported similarly from Ibrahim bin Sa'ad, and Ibn Uyayna, from Asuri, from Amra, from Aisha, in his narration, Ibn Uyayna said, he, Asuri, did not say, the Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered her to perform Ghusl. Oh, interesting. So you see a distinction there of like, he didn't order her. Hmm. Very interesting. So, there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff from Asuri. Very interesting. 
hopefully, you know, it wasn't too bad for those women who had istihada. It sounds pretty miserable. Seven years. What a pain in the butt, man. Whew. What a pain. What a pain. We're so for prayer. So the days of your period. The strokes of shaitan is interesting because it is quite annoying when you think about, like, how, like, oh, it's just so unpleasant, you know, just ruining your clothes and having to sleep uncomfortably and constant bleeding. It sucks so bad. So us women, we should be very thankful that Allah Asawajal has made many of us just be pretty regular in that and to make a dua for women who suffer from something like istihada.